Great to have your company today on Fox Sports. Hello and welcome in beautiful weather conditions to Campbelltown Sports Stadium. The second episode in our exclusive coverage of the GIO Cup, the Elite Schoolboys Competition. And today our matchup features two heavyweights of Schoolboys Rugby League. I refer to St. Gregory's College and Arendale College. Arendale on screen now. A very good team. I'm joined by Peter Mulholland. Yes, good afternoon, David. And you're right, both sides steeped in history of... Uh schoolboy football an interesting contest i think this afternoon of course us and gregory's you spent a lot of years at this school yourself we'll talk more about that shortly as we look now at the st greg side Gee, some great players have come out of this school and they are coached in 2013 by pat newell in this first half this afternoon erindale will defend the northern end of campbelltown sports stadium what a contrast we have here today when compared to our match last week between Bass High and Illawarra Sports High in Wollongong, it was absolutely teeming down. Yeah. Not the case today, fortunately. No, it's not teeming down, but by G G it's nice and cold out there. That's a brisk breeze that's blowing, and uh, I think that'll suit the Canberra side well and truly. Aaron Moller will be the referee as St. Greg's, a familiar strip. These players make their way onto the field. Wonderful opportunity for these elite schoolboy players. Of course, in the case of St. Gregory's, many of uh, these young men are aligned to Western Suburbs, junior representative teams. Some even represent the likes of Cronulla. And Mola signals time in, so, or time on rather. And the first touch, it was caught by Demamiel, and he got the pass away. In fact, to Terry Nimmo, the hooker forward for Erendale, who found himself returning the football. I reckon that would have been a shock to the system. This is Ezra Howe, the front rower. Big lump of a lad and a good quick play. The ball two on his own 20-metre line. Now Cleveland McGee, the fullback, has his first touch of the match. He plays it rapidly back to Nimmo. And now the front rower Howe takes his second touch in this set. He was confronted by Christopher V for the St. Gregory side. And that's a great charge by the lock forward, Daniel Dull. Hitting the line at pace. Great opening set here by Erendale. They've come a long way downfield. Unfortunately, a miscommunication, though, on uh, what was the last tackle. So we'll see a turnover here. There's a good set of six there to open their uh, campaign, the Erendale side. Just a, a misunderstanding there. Didn't hear that last tackle called and uh, turnover. Very lucky for St. Greg's. They could have been well and truly coming off their own line. Some of the players that have come through the Erendale system to enjoy stellar NRL careers include Todd Payton, Terry Martin, Lincoln Withers, Richard Villasanti, Brett Finch, Brent Kite, Michael Wayman. A host of terrific players have previously worn the Erendale jumper. As we watch St. Greg's with its first use of the football in this game, they attack the left edge of the Erendale defence. This is Ashley Nisbet on the far side, tackled about 10 in from the Eastern Tuts line. He'll play it back to William Overall. And now Kajasius. And he got the ball on to Talamaveo. And Talamaveo wrapped up quickly by Terry Nimmo. And also Leon Tapula. So great field position here for St. Greg's. Back to the halfback for the kick down into the northwestern corner. And that's great defence, St. Gregory's. It was fielded by Dale Turner and had no room to work in. They bundle him into touch western side. Yeah, good set of six for St. Greg's return serve. And, uh, Great little kick there from that Kajiasis. A lot of pressure on the Erendale defence. It was a good take there in the end by Dale Turner and uh, defensively being pushed over the line there. Very strong player, Mason Cerruto. A lot of representative uh, schoolboy and uh, junior rep experience behind him. So on last week's show, we saw Illawarra running out convincing winners over Bass High. Who will it be today in our second match of televised GIO Cup competition? The skill level and athleticism of these kids is quite impressive. Ezra Howe has tackled. He's been strong in this match already. And now the other bookend for Erendale to pull up charges forward. Peter, I talked a little about Erendale and the players that have come through the system here. 
to go on and represent at NRL level. St Gregory's, you spent a lot of your life here. Yeah, I did 19 years there. Sounds like a jail sentence, doesn't it, Dave? Yeah, from, I think it was 1975, and it was a great time. And, yeah, there's been a one hell of a number of players that have actually gone through to great football for St Greggs. And I suppose from the early days, Ivan Henjak, the former coach of the Broncos, uh, Mickey Potter, the current coach of... Uh, of West Tigers, Trent Robinson, who's the current coach of the Roosters, Jason Taylor, the assistant coach at the Roosters, Daniel Anderson taught there actually, who was the uh, you know, the referee's uh, boss. So there's still a very strong influence of St. Greg's. Oh, we'll come back to you. Saruno is through. Some feeble defence. He was then stopped before it got any more threatening for Erendale. It was Turner flopping across to affect the tackle in the end. So great opportunity for St. Greg's here as they swing it wide, Curry getting himself involved. And now to the back rower, that's Nisbet. And he uses a man on his outside and it's broken down. Some massive names have come through the St. Greg's program. As Peter was telling you, here's a reverse angle look at that. Yeah, just a forward pass there too. And I think uh, actually Nisbet in uh, days gone by, that ball's gone forward there. Days gone by, that could well have been uh, classified as an obstruction too. Uh, another name that I forgot to mention too in that rap, uh, Trent Barrett, the assistant coach of the um, of the New South Wales Origin, and Ryan Hoffman, who's playing in that Origin side, both St Greg's old boys. So there's a litany of them, don't? Yeah, and um, to further highlight the importance of schoolboy rugby league in terms of Erindale, again, as we watch Erindale now operating a couple of metres into St Gregory's territory with a good run there. Neil Henry, the current Cowboys coach, and Michael Maguire, the current Rabbitohs coach, have also been at the Erindale College in years gone by. Now Nemo at acting half as we watch Erindale building to something. Good field position for them on this occasion. David Fuka, powerful run by the big back rower, plays predominantly on the left, but does roam a little too. A kick there from George House. A midfield bomb of sorts, and the referee has picked something up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shoulder charge in the aftermath of the kick you'll find. We'll check it out on the replay. You can see there, he's just taking him off the ball, and uh, yeah, I think he was in the air, but at any rate, there was uh, Craig Tysers to actually put that hit on. I don't think there was a whole lot in it. No. So, John White, the Erindale left centre, will take this very simple penalty shot at goal. Not overly difficult. Peter Mulholland alluded to the cool breeze here. As we see the flags in the air and Erindale go to a two points to nil lead after six and a half minutes as a result of the effort there from John White.